This is a really rank situation right now. <laughs> It is about 9.30 p.m. and pitch black outside, but I needed to film this video, so that's what I'm gonna do. Hey guys, it's Riley, and welcome to my channel on this lovely Tuesday. Today's Trans Tuesday is going to be basically why gender is not a sexuality and how it's ridiculous that people kind of intertwine them together as like one thing. First of all, sexuality is a person's sexual orientation or preference. It has to do with sexual and romantic attractions. Gender is a range of characteristics pertaining to and differentiating from femininity and masculinity. Sometimes it has to do with biological characteristics and sometimes it has to do with personality characteristics or anything in between. So as you can tell from the definitions of what they each are, they are already completely very different things. The things that are similar about them is that they are both a spectrum. There is not one and there is not the other. There is not one right way to be. There is not one wrong way to be. There are several different in-betweens and all-arounds to both gender and sexuality. Classing is someone who is gender variant or trans along with people who are variant with sexuality is kind of a hard thing to do because gender and sexuality well, sometimes they correlate, are not always correlating, and there are straight trans people, and there are obviously cis queer people, so it doesn't really do well to mix the two. That being said, they are a parallel community. That's why it's called the LGBTQ plus community, because trans people and queer people alike are all together in the sense that we have something different, I guess. I don't know, that's probably problematic, but that's what we're going with right now. The gender spectrum is a lot different than the sexuality spectrum, because the sexuality spectrum, again, is related to sexual and romantic attraction. People you want to be in a relationship with, people you want to have sex with, people you are in a platonic relationship with, whereas gender is someone's individual identity, perception, presentation of themselves. Someone's gender does not determine someone's sexuality. So if someone is a trans man, that does not mean they are straight and interested in women. It is not like that. That's not how the world works against some cis people's opinions. And again, someone who is gay might not be cis. So they do often mesh with each other. So that's why someone's gender or gender identity or gender expression does not necessarily determine who they are attracted to. It really never determines who they're attracted to, like ever. I already made a video on how assuming gender and sexuality is like the dumbest thing you can do so like please don't do that side note but yeah so gender sexuality different things kind of parallel just do your own research uh we're not your uh dictionary use google google is your friend keep that in mind okay that's all i've got if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below of some trans education video ideas that you guys would like to see in the future if you have something you'd like me to discuss share my opinion on talk about ask questions about let me know if you want you can subscribe because i post a new video every tuesday and thursday i didn't last week because i was at camp but you know sometimes that happens be sure to follow me on all of my social media which is at the Riley Kyle on all platforms. The links to everything I have will be in the description below. You can also check out my side channel where I upload vlogs throughout the week and it's super, super cool. And we're almost at 350 subscribers. So let's get us there. Make sure you go subscribe. The link to that is in the description below. I love you guys and I will see you guys on Thursday. Okay, bye. thumbnail. Uh, yeah. Shout out to LJ for being the lightsaber slash the lighting for this video. <laughs> I'm so keeping that in. Okay.